Hey there, Ventex here. Welcome back to some more of the medium. We're picking them right where we left off. We got our bolt cutters. We cut two bolts that just disintegrated. Chains, I should say. I don't know why they call them bolt cutters when we're cutting chains. Should be chain cutters. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Alright, let's see where we're going from here. We're going to backtrack a little bit back this way. I wonder if there's any collectibles. Here's a door. It's locked. Good to know. Anything else back here that we can get? Nope. Okay, so we have a locked door all the way back to the back. Now let's progress forward and see if we can find anything that way. Maybe we'll find a key. There's another mirror we can go into. Let's check everything else before we go into the mirror. More bolt cutter action. Here we go. I've already used these three times and I just got them. That's pretty good. Okay, we gotta go back to the daycare center. That's right. Okay, That's what we're doing. Yeah. Let's see what Sadness wanted me to see. I hope she's all right. I'm sure she's fine. Oh. Let's see. All right, look at this. I did. This is, but the light was all flickering and it was hard on the eyes. <laughs> A little bit easier now. All right, come on, come down. Freaking out on me. Wait, we were to the daycare room. This door was the one that's locked up. Here we go. Two, three, always takes three. Right. Here we go. Here we go. Day room. We're gonna have to hide from a monster, I guess. Oh, that was weird. That was glitchy. Why did you start with a cutscene? Oh. Okay, now we're in both worlds again. Sadness! There you are. Thank God. You're right. I was so worried. Oh. Yeah. That thing almost got me. What the hell is it? Yeah, it came from shame. From helplessness. From rage. Rage? It's like anger, but more. Once it got out, we couldn't stop it. It ate all of them, Marianne. All of my friends. Your friends? I'm the only one left. Like Bernard. It's okay, Sadness. I'm here now. No, no. It, it'll eat you too. It, just like the others. I won't let it hurt you. I promise. Okay. Hey. Why don't you tell me something? Is he one of your friends? Uh, no. But he was smart. Maybe he could help you. He was smart. Wait, is he? Uh, a bad thing happened to him. Uh -oh. I remember he became hollow. Like a puppet. He... I don't want to see him. What? Why not? What, what do you remember? No. Don't tell them. Well, it, it's don't okay. tell anyone. You don't have to tell me. But you should still come with me so that I can keep you safe. No. No, Mary. Oh, Is that not ever again? Down. Why did you bring me here? He just got knocked down. It was then I realized there was something she wanted me to see. Past the skin wall? With my own eyes. All right, let's go. I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's go find Richard. Razor blade.
Look how it folds back. Ew. All right, almost dead. There we go. Richard? Are you there? Try and walk for dramatic effect. All right, let's run. Oh, there's something here. It's all glittery. Oh, here we go. We have to put it together. Don't you think he would be better off in a nursing home? What about his family? Richard doesn't have any family. Oh, the poor man. It's like he's somewhere else. That's Richard in we the were chair. We close once, you know. I mean, not that close, but... All right. I'll take care of him. Hollow like a puppet. Isn't that what Sadness said? Okay, we need to find Richard. We have a bunch of moths here, but I need something to power up first. Uh, locked. Not on my side, it's not. Deep dive. Is there a key? Here we go, what's this? What is this? Look, I'm looking. There's nothing else here. Not on my side, at least. Maybe if I was on the other side. I see something glowing here, but there's nothing there. Let's go back for a second so we don't die, I guess. So here's the bugs. There's a doorway this way. There's also something here. A sheet of music. At least part of it. Okay, sheet of music. Can we progress this way? Yes, we can. What's right here? There's a globe on my side, and then something else. Oh, there's uh, something here, too. Why won't it let me look at it? I'm right, right here. There it goes, finally. It became a habit of ours. We'd sit down, sketchbook at the ready, and then he'd close his eyes and start talking. Describing all the things he saw in his mind's eyes, the horror and splendor of worlds beyond our own. What started out as an innocent exercise in imagination ultimately became a bottomless well of inspiration. My hand wouldn't dare rest, sketching furiously as he described the indescribable. For a while, I wondered why he was so eager to share his visions with me. To him, they seemed to be a burden, a great source of pain and distress. But finally, I understood. He sought to share them with someone who saw them as a source of beauty rather than madness. So I guess maybe Richard gave his ideas to uh, Tarkislaw? Tarkislaw? <laughs> and then he became an artist. Mm. Focus on the spirit world. There's a sense of loneliness coming from it. Loneliness from the globe. Incomplete. Okay, there's something that we need to put in the globe. Maybe now there will be an item where we w looked and there wasn't an item. Now that we looked at the globe, I bet there is now. All of a sudden. Very conveniently. Ooh, there's, a, uh, there's something here too. I remember the first time I met him working a simple factory job. Still more of a boy than a man, wide-eyed, constantly looking over his shoulder like a scared animal. His parents had died in the Warsaw Uprising. What he'd gone through in the years that followed, he did not want to speak, and I never pressed him. But it soon became clear he had no one else in this world. I, would, I could immediately tell that despite his young age, he had seen things that no one his age should. I could immediately tell he was special. Anything else we got here? Oh, there's something here. Like an echo. There it is. Gather round, children. I want you to meet Lilian. She's going to be joining our painting class. Uh, why can't I play with my friends, Uncle Richard? Your friends? 
Mm -mm -mm. Oh, Lillian, I... I promised your father you would spend some time with the other children. Friends, huh? Lillian. There's also something else here, too. Oh, okay, here we go. I spent a few years trying to steer him in the right direction, trying to make him see the depths of his potential. He kept refusing, claiming that he was no painter and that he saw little get-togethers as therapy rather than artistic expression. Eventually, I wore him down. He agreed to enter the university, but on one condition, that would be his chosen field. And so, he started on his way to become an architect. At first, I was rather skeptical, thinking that he was throwing away greatness for mere com competence. But deep inside, I guess I was glad to be the only one to bring his visions to life. And then he met her. Our painting sessions became few and far between. He no longer needed my help in dealing with his inner demons. Uh-oh, sounds like someone's getting jealous. Uh, this is the way we went, or came from. There's something over here, too. Another sheet music. Need one more page. There's something over here as well. So many notes. Thomas, I have always been stunned by the depths and complexity of his imagination, memorized by the surreal dreamscapes his mind would weave. The way he described them with every minute detail, it was as if he had actually witnessed all of it. As if something or someone pulled the veil and asked him a peek beyond the edges of our reality. And allowed him a peek beyond the edges of our reality. An angel? A demon? Is there really a difference? I know it didn't matter to me as his visions came alive on my canvas. Some would say I used the boy to fuel my waning creativity, but how could I not? To let this unique perspective, this bottomless well of inspiration go to waste? That would be an unforgivable sin. Alright, let's try the spirit world one more time. Maybe there's something in the well now. We still can't get through. Bolt cutters, use it! Maybe there's a key over here too. If not, there must be another item we're missing out on. Oh, here's something right here. That's for the globe. Yes. Alright, is there anything in this? Probably not. Probably in the material world to get this uh, little encoder thing done. This little codex, I guess you could call it. If you're thinking of uh, division. Alright, let's go put this on the globe. We're still looking for another piece of the uh, music sheet. I've been looking around, but I can't find it. There's this thing, and we already looked at that. That had the echo. Here's a uh, something we can't go to either, at least on my part. Maybe when we put that uh, the piece to the globe in, we can unlock that part as well. All right, let's try it. Let's do it. Here you go. Okay. Oh, it's a face and eyeballs. I see. Uh, this one, I needed it to go up. Up again. Try to get the middle one, it's hard, it keeps going back and forth. There it goes. No. There we go. Now I need up. Perfect! We did it! What is this? Can show me a way out of here. Okay. We unlocked something, so that's good. Is it something in this room or is it another room? Nope. Not over here. Alright, let's get it out. Let me out. Where's the way out? Oh, it was right here. Oh, there's a the door. Why won't it let me go through? Why wouldn't it let me go through? That's weird. The door's open. Is it not open in this spirit world or something? 
now it lets me get out. It's unlocked in my world too, though. Why? I don't make no sense. Alright, let's see what's going on. It looks like the door is open on my side. Right here, right? Am I just tripping or what? Look, that's an open door. Why can't I walk through it? I can only go through it in the spirit world. What's going on here? Maybe it had something to do with the globe. Oh, here we go. That's why it wouldn't let me do it. I wasn't quite done with what I was supposed to do here. That's still strange that it wouldn't let me. Like, no, you have to finish what you're doing here. How far am I rotating this? Okay, here we go. There's an opening. Right there. Here we go. Another taken away. Is there anything else here? No. I guess we'll go right here with it. Okay, now it lets me go. Weird. It would not let me move at all. I need to get through here. I wonder if there's a way I could position the vines to let me get through there. Let's take one more look and I think that's probably it. Okay, so the only thing it'll let me do is rotate this. I've been everywhere else and it won't let me go anywhere else. Can we go outside that on the left? I thought I tried that already. Let's try it again. Okay, that's what we needed to do. That's what we were missing. I tried everything else. I looked everywhere else. Nothing. There's the sheet of music I was talking about right here. Oh, wait, that's not it. What is this? Oh, another echo. I love this melody. It reminds me of my childhood. Or at least the good parts of it. But the bad part. They're always there, aren't they? Sadness and Richard. You're a very smart girl, Lily. You know that, don't you? Lily is Sadness's You're name. Special. Her voice, is that? A sadness. Sadness? Lily. Maybe we can set Lily free. Okay, we need one more note. I thought I saw it over here, but I guess that's not it. Is it over here? Uh -huh. Ooh, a key. Is that, wait, is that Lily? Is that a picture of her? I can't look at it now. I need one more piece to play the piano. This isn't it. That's the echo. Oh, there's a spirit well right here. Go ahead and power up. It's not the sparks too yeah to we gotta get the uh, like piece of music all right let's cut the flesh rip and tear tear the flesh oh there we go all right now we have the key we can get through the door over here in the material world and we can see what's there in the the little basin. There we go. Oh, open it. <laughs> Not enough to unlock it. You gotta open the door, too. There's something here with an echo. There it is. Come on, Richard. You were always there when I needed you. Let me return the favor. Uh, I don't know, Thomas. What about my work? The university? 
Richard, I know they kicked you out. Oh! I'm guessing you finally managed to piss off the right people. Hey. Stay with us, old friend. Do it for me. For them. So, he brought him here. Hmm. Wonder who he meant by them. Guess that's supposed to be a really nice pen. I'd be upset if someone gave me a pen. It's like, out of all the things you could have gave me, you gave me a pen. I'd just take a hug. How about that? Here we go. So, that's how you found me? Yes. He was just lying there. He, uh... Mr. Reckon? I, I'm sorry. He was a friend. I just... Need a moment. That's not true, Thomas. You thought he deserved it. Oh shoot. Alright, what's over here? Once he got engaged, we grew apart for a while. Now that I think of it, I guess I was jealous. I no longer had them all for myself. In time I warmed up to her as well. She was striking, both in her beauty and her intellect. Eventually, I accepted the fact that he was fond, or that he has found true happiness, true love, strong and pure. Well, pure as it can be, I guess. In any case, I was no longer needed. When the project came along, the one that would eventually be known as Niwa, I pulled all my strings to get him what he wanted. Even though I knew it would drive an even bigger wedge between us, I wanted the best for him. He was the closest to a son that I've ever had. I told you he was jealous. That should be all the hey, combine. Now we can get the uh, power to blast away the moss and progress. Excellent. Ultimate power! Come on, let's go. Really pushing the story with all the uh, narratives now. Here we go. Let's go ahead and put that on there. Alright, that was a nice jam. Alright, let's do this. Oh, we gotta go this way. Oh, okay. Figured out which way we gotta go. Let's get some more power. <laughs> it got all turned around there. The uh, perspective changed all, like, automatically and it f threw me off. Threw me for a loop. Alright, let's get another one. Power up! Alright, let's do this again. Round two. It's weird looking at it from both directions. This way. Oh, we got a little laggy after our. Yeah, that's a laggy. Come on. So people complain about in the forums is the optimization. What do we have here? The painting. All right, let's fix it. Uncle Richard, my arms are getting tired. You've been drawing me for hours. Almost done. You know, Lily, you remind me of someone. A girl I knew when I was very young. Did you love her? Yes, with a young, innocent love, free of the ferocity of adult lives. Richard. I'm getting a weird vibe from him. Wow. There's grief. Sorrow. And oh, okay. Something else. <laughs> I thought you were talking about another weird vibe. I swear, these scary games sometimes. What else do we got over here? There should be something else. Oh, it's leading me this way. That was leading me toward the painting, but no, it's bringing me this way. Here, there's a doll. Another story. I'm telling you, they're pushing it. Aren't you a bit old to be playing with dolls? Here, I bought it especially for you. Is that a hand over there? A ribbon? It's beautiful. Thank you, Uncle Richard. Here, let me. 
Um, on the other hand, why don't you do it yourself? Ah, what was that? It's like something stirred inside him. Stirred inside of him? I'm more focused on that big old demon hand. Look at that crap. Do I not see that? Like in the spear world? Am I oblivious to that? Does that not scare me or something? I'm just like, oh, that's fine. The people, the tall people trying to wear my skin, that's something to be afraid of, but not that. I'm good. No problem. What else do we have over here? Is that Richard? No! I didn't mean to. Oh, God! What have I done? You kill her? It feels cold. You killed Sadness, Lily? What have you done? Did he kill Lily? Look, the uh, shards are going this way. Uh. Oh, shoot! I'm gonna get hit by the chair! <laughs> the chair came out of nowhere! I had never felt anything so desperate. It was calling out to me. It wanted to show me something. <gasps> achievement unlocked the child eater achievement. Language. Trying to steal stuff? It looks like a thief. Got black gloves on. Thought I could protect her. Idiot! What would you think of me? I failed you. I failed us. Comes at twelve fifteen. It's all falling apart. You, Francis? What? Is it Lily? Yes, I know. No, I need to be sure. There's got to be something around here. You want what? Fuck! He sees somebody. It's himself. Look who finally decided to let me out of my cave. Like Marianne. Is that Thomas then? And only when you need my help. Surprise. Surprise. Okay, you know what? I'm not in the mood. Just tell me what you see. Come on. Come on. Yes. I can feel it. Okay. It's around here somewhere. Oh, well, that's real fucking specific. Hey, hmm. I'm trying to help here. Are you? You know, sometimes I wonder. Well, it doesn't make it easier when you keep me in the dark for so long. Oh, Christ. Thanks for that, by the way. <laughs> Hell of a way to treat your soulmate. God damn it! There's nothing here! There is. Really? I'm never wrong about these things. You know that. Well, screw this. I should have known better than to listen to you. Wait. What? There. There. Where? What? Painting? Floor? Painting. What is it? This is it. Okay. Okay. Oh, 
What? You building tension? Grab the fucking thing! Would you shut up? What you wanted. Sadness, Lily? Was he investigating? It's like he's obsessed. And then he called us? What is he? What have I done? We couldn't have known. I let him into my home. He was like a father to me. How could he do this to her? Fucking bastard! Who could he? Lily's his daughter. I told you we couldn't trust anyone but ourselves. Wonder Keep if that's together. it. Together, think. What do we do now? The guy that raised him and used him for inspiration. He had a daughter, Lily, and he turned on his daughter, when Lily. He comes back. Oh, just... Whoa, 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 easy, Tiger. Remember what's at stake here. Just let me do what I do. You better do it fast. Because if you don't... I will. I will. Kill him. Kill him. Figured it out. I think, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. That's the father figure guy, right? No, that's still Tom. Um, no, that's the father figure. Thomas. I wasn't expecting you. Is uh, everything all right, my friend? Friend? Did you do it, friend? <laughs> Did I? What? My daughter. My 13-year-old daughter. I entrusted her to you. Thomas. True, he did it. Did you do it? Why, well, he's hesitating. I, I don't. Yes. Uh, uh. Found the sketchbook. Forced myself to look through it. Cover to cover. Every single fucking page! Tell me you didn't hurt her, Richard. Thomas, please. Tell me I'm wrong, Richard. Tell me, and I'll let you go. I. It wasn't me, Thomas. You have to understand, there's a sting inside of me. Shut up. Oh! oh, oh. That's what he gets. You, you have to believe me. I wanted to die. You're about to get your gift. I'll make it quick. Thomas, I'm so sorry. You'll get what you want. Sorry. Daughter! I, I, I never wanted any of this. I, I, I should never have come here. But you did. No one should here. Knowing what she means to me. Thomas, I, I swear I'll go away. You'll never. Wait. Not here. No. Let me out. Let me out. Let me in. Good, do deserve it. Dude deserves it. And people are sick, man. Cancer spread far enough. 
time to cut it out. Why does he look so much weirder than Mary Ann does when she goes into spirit mode? She looks a little more normal, but he looks all messed up. All right, Richard. This is your world. Show me what you're hiding. All right, let's find out what Richard is hiding next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Check out the Discord and the Twitch down in the description. And I'll see you guys next time.